Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We all caught up. We got Naruto Unhinged Episode 6. I'm so excited for this, man. You know, I love watching this video. And not only that, I like watching their face expressions. The ladies I bring on looking crazy. But uh, My name is Natalia. Um, if you'd like, you follow me on TikTok at Natalia R. R. Everything will look this, but yeah. Everybody, my name is Didi. You can follow me on Instagram at Diavion.Delgado and on TikTok at CowgirlDZ. Hey, y'all, it's Rogue. You can follow me at Rogue.Behavior on Instagram and any other social media. Naruto or any other series related to it. This video is a parody for entertainment purposes and for the enjoyment of fans that follow the original series. But with all that said, please enjoy the video. Episode 6, the exams begin. This is supposed to be the start of the real exams. Yet this room is full of white m Well, if you think about it, there really isn't a point for someone that's black to participate in this exam, since by default they have the pass and label. Being black doesn't automatically make you a real nigga. Take your Ruka, for example. Sure, he's part black and he's one of my day ones, but respectfully, that nigga is pussy. I guess he has a point. Hey, my love. Did you miss me? Oh yeah, she's gonna flip off. <laughs> Get your maggot-infested oh, coochie away from my mans, you dirty b Girl, please! He doesn't even like your 13-year-old boy-looking ass. Eno, you two have the same build. Now can you please stop embarrassing our team? Oh shit, it's been a minute since I've seen you, my nigga. This is my nigga Shikamaru. He's mad smart and he always keeps it real when talking to you. He's one of my day ones, cause I knew him since I was little. <laughs> this fat piece of sh named Choji. This nigga stole my chips one day, so I called him a fat ass nigga and he beat the bricks off of me. Dang. This is Eno. There's not much to say about her because she also happens to be a Sasuke d writer. But at least she knows Ooh. how to control herself. Ooh. I knew I wasn't Future? tweaking. I knew I smelled some trash coming from this direction. This hater's name is Kiba. Him and his family live with dogs, which is probably why he always smells like piss. For whatever reason... <laughs> Smell like <laughs> He likes to always hate on me. I'm starting to get tired of his shit. Nigga, you better pray to the great sage that they don't put me up against you. Cause I swear, I'm gonna kick the f out of that weak ass jaw. Yeah, whatever. Just try not to get beat up by Choji before you get the chance to do that. That fat ass nigga ain't gonna do shit. He just caught me by surprise last time. Mm -hmm. Shino, get out of my way. Relax, Choji. We're all here for the first exam. If you start a fight now, your team might be disqualified before it even begins. So calm down. For now, at least. Wait. Damn it, you're right. This is Shino. I don't know too much about him except that he's always super serious and he likes to mess with bugs. Kinda weird if you ask me. Hey Naruto, have you heard the new NBA Youngboy song? I, I oh, thought yeah, it was pretty girl. good. Since when does she listen to NBA Youngboy? I listened to it the minute it dropped. Youngboy went crazy. This is Hinata. She's really shy and kinda weird. But I don't mind it though cause she listens to Youngboy just like me. Also she doesn't tell people this. <laughs> But she listens to Sexy Red. I haven't heard you say oh, anything damn, since you got here, Sasuke. Nah, that's a red flag. Sexy nah. Red and Young Boy. That's a red flag. That's a yeah. red flag. She for the streets, bro. She for the streets. Young for both. She, well, both. I mean, she always says she was from the streets, for the streets, is the streets, so. Hey. Nah. Plus, it's been a minute since I saw the goat himself. The glaze that just came out this nigga Kiba's mouth is crazy, but he's right. Cause you've been mad quiet. You still have to tell me what you got your streak number to last night. We're supposed to be having a competition, remember? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just a little tired. I decided not to have my nightly session because something felt off about last night. What do you mean? I woke up to start my edge session, but I felt drained before I could even start. And on top of that, I could have sworn I saw someone outside my window. That's a little creepy. 
Did something oh. happen? No. From what I can tell, nothing happened. I probably just wasn't thinking straight because I got kicked in the face by that L-block bitch a few hours before then. Getting kicked in the face doesn't cause that to happen, even if it's from a member of L-block. I don't think that's how that works, my nigga. But anyways, listen to this. I was able to get my number up to 12 last night, so I guess that makes me the winner. I can't even be oh. mad about losing because that's actually oh. pretty impressive, especially since that was your first session. You two can stop talking now. I'm starting to think you might be gay, so let's just switch the subject. <laughs> Why? Do you think there's something wrong with being gay? No, not at all. They just randomly Damn. started talking about an edging competition, so it's a little strange. That's all. I have a problem with that statement, because the moment something remotely gay came up in the conversation you wanted to switch topics, even if it came up randomly, it shouldn't oh? even matter. Or maybe it's because we have more important things to worry about because we're about to start our first exam. I'm not buying that sorry statement you call an excuse. What the hell is your problem? He didn't mean it like that. <laughs> yeah, why do you seem so offended by what just happened? If you're gay, then I guess I can somewhat see why you might feel that way. Hey, he must be, hey, he said you must be there. You feel some type of way about it. <laughs> gay? No, no. As a matter of fact, I'm probably one of the most straightest people you'll ever meet. So my bad if I came at you a little aggressive. I'm just a major supporter. Whatever, dude. Next supporter. time, just try to see what I actually meant first before trying to cancel me. Now that that's over with. Why did you even come over here? I came over here because everyone can tell that you guys are the rookie ninjas participating this year. So I wanted to give you guys some information I have about some of the other ninjas that are also participating. Just so all you guys have a fair chance at getting that label. That's some real nigga shit. You might actually be valid. I appreciate the compliment. But let me get started so I can tell you what I know before the first exam starts. Everything I learned is held on these very cards. Listen up closely, okay, because this information might be very useful to some of you. Every year when these exams are held, ninja from all the villages come to participate. But this year is special mainly because of the name being changed to the real N-word exams and the extra reward you get for passing. Most of us already heard about that, so you're not really telling us anything new. Just tell us about the people we need to look out for. Well, fuck me for trying to make this a proper explanation. Pause. I've only known you for a few minutes and I already don't like you. Yeah, well, the feeling's mutual, so get on with the explanation. I hate this little brat. This is the first person you all should watch out for. His name is Rock Lee. Ooh. Lee is an up-and-coming yeah, member and prodigy okay. of L Block. The one thing you need to look out for is his use of insta- Nah, I don't trust him. He got the do-rag, got the mean face, he got black- do-rag! Hey? I know he got black forces on. He has the crazy eyes. Yeah, he does. His face is far waiting. Him being from L Block should be a dead giveaway about it, but he's better than most other members at using it. So be careful and don't fully trust him. Because if he thinks he can instigate you into a fight, then he will with no hesitation. Why is he wearing a do-rag? <laughs> it's probably how he keeps his hair so shiny. Plus, I heard it's a part of his training, but I'm not sure what that entails. There's someone on his team you should watch out for, too. This person is a member of the Huga clan, so I don't have too much information on him because his clan is very secretive. But what I do know is that he's one of the most talented ninjas that are participating this year. This must be the person he was talking about. You also remind me of one of my teammates. He is also from a gated community like you, but he likes to say he's from the hood. I feel like you two would get along very well. I heard the Huga clan is a gated community, yet he has a teardrop tattoo. So basically, this nigga is a poser. This is the next person you should watch out for. His name is Gara, but most people know him as the white supremacist of the Sand Village. Hey, There's no way you're about to give that racist a proper introduction. We met his bitch ass the other day and his homeboy was just as bad as him. The only normal one was their sister. Since you already know about him, let me leave you with this. 
I heard he once had a teammate who he thought agreed and supported his beliefs. Gara ended up finding out that was false, and the teammate was never seen again. So my word of advice is, if you see him, your best bet is to just agree with him. Just so you oh. don't make yourself one of his targets. So that guard dude must have had a major crash out when he felt betrayed. Interesting. With all that said, we're pretty much done. That's everyone we needed to talk about. You only told us about three people. How is that everyone you needed to talk about? Take a look around the room and you'll see why I said that. They all look like goons and side characters, so they most likely won't be a problem. <laughs> Did he just call us some fucking side characters? Uh, yeah. So basically, that means all you niggas must be ass. I'm starting to get used to hearing him say that. Man, these exams gonna be mad easy. Huh. I know some hoes that would love his confidence, and for some He's reason that hoes. doesn't bother me. <laughs> and this is why they shouldn't invite these gorilla grape juice slurpers to events like these. They're always loud and obnoxious. Your racist ass can think whatever you want, but I actually like his confidence. First he calls us side characters, then that brat calls us ass. I have a reason for being here, so I'm not gonna sit and get disrespected like this. Oh, snap. What the fuck is wrong with this nigga? <laughs> Look at that slow-ass punch. These really are some goon side characters. That was a cute little trick you just did. Get up! Sus vibration oh, jutsu. Hey, y'all don't know how to get up. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Not the yeah, it's over. It's over. It's over. Not the sus vibration. What did you just do to him? You, of all people, should know that I have my reasons for being here and that I'm not a fucking side character. Hey! Calm your little asses down so we can start this motherfucking Oh, rap so petty. <laughs> we about to see which one of you what? crayon eaters is a real nigga. <laughs> oh, shit. Bro. Oh, y'all know Rap So Petty, man. I react to his videos all the time. The last person at the end. That was funny, though. Shout out to Rap So Petty, man. I got to tag you in it. That's funny. But dang, man. They have you on the edge. That was hilarious, though. What y'all thought of this video? First time seeing something like this. It was it's so much to digest and take in. Would you, would you take the real nigga exam? I don't have to. Oh, she, hey, you say you already right got it. Yeah, you already got it, though. Hey, they some savages in there. Everybody was trying to be a thug, though, especially the guy with the do rag though. That was insane, though. But, hey, yeah, man, he he was a savage. But hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button and please subscribe. Hey, I love you guys, and hopefully he got some more video because we caught up. Finally, finally he caught up. You know, some videos was wild. I feel like every episode get more wilder and wilder. But I love you guys. Peace out. And tell us what we should react to next. Some other videos or for now and to the next episode. Tell us what we should check out next, y'all. Well, y'all, see you next video. And please hit that like button. Let's get 1,000 likes. Less than 24 hours, y'all. Let's, Let's go. Let's go. Peace out.